Well, I moved it a little bit more. There you go. That's it. You're on now. Okay, sounds to me like I'm a little high, but it's since it's going to slip down anyway, maybe by the time it's my turn to talk, I'll be right. K5LYN. Any time, guy. All righty. Good evening, everybody. Does anybody need this frequency for emergency use? If so, come now, please. Well, I'm going to take that as a no. Good evening, everybody. My name's Guy. Golf Uniform Yankee. My call sign is Whiskey 5 Charlie Mike Kilo. And we're about to commence the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net for Wednesday night. Let's see. This is the uh, 18th day, uh, 17th. I don't know. Anyway, we're in the middle of May anyway. Uh, on Wednesday nights at 7.30 on this frequency, we get together and cut and discuss and kick around uh, the old Boat Anchors L2 uh, equipment, single side band, and if you got an AM rig and it's zero beat, it's real good, we'll... We'll get you in here too because we're not uh, we're not too uh, too discriminating when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, we uh, do accept buy sell trade as long as it is boat anchor related. No, uh, don't really want to mess with uh, the solid state stuff. That's that's Jim and uh, and Dennis's gig on Fridays and Sundays. So anyway, uh, I got a few folks on the list here. Well, let me tell you what I got going on. I'm a uh, I'm on my same old TR4C with a MS4 and a AC4 uh, power supply into a 2KD5 Henry with an amplified D104 with a question mark element, replacement element, five or seven years ago. I can't even remember now. I come off a, come off a gadget on the Internet, but uh, I guess it's doing all right if you all can hear me. And a double bazooka at about 45 feet. That's what we got going on here tonight. All right, uh, hey, Mr. George, TXW, come on in here and let us know what's going on on your side of Austin, Texas. Howdy, guy, WB5TXW, well, waiting for it to rain, I guess. Uh, very damp, very moist, you know, the whole bit. Right here, mostly in the north-central part of Austin, Texas. On the Collins gear, 32S1, 75S3, 30L1, and peripherals with the horizontal loop. Band's in good condition. I'm hearing some crash, crash now. Maybe it is what Jim says down there from Del Rio. And that's about it, guy. Over. Well, the Collins gear's uh, sounding good up this way. It looks like I slipped down a few... Uh, cycles I'll get it fixed here in a minute but uh yep uh, yeah. that uh the Collins is sounding good I'm going to ask you about that other that other radio once we get off the net because I'm kind of interested about uh that microphone you bought but uh, we'll do that later on anything else George no that's about it yeah I'll tell you about that sometime I, mean, I don't think it's anything special but it's more matched up to the uh newer radios WB5TXW back to net. All right, good deal, George. Hey, Mr. Joseph, you got that 200V warmed up? Uh, you're listening to it. Uh, W5 Country Music King and all the other good net controls and the whole boat anchor net. Uh, Eden Gents, uh, you're listening to a Central Electronics 200V and talking or listening on a Drake R4 Charlie. I know that's going to make Guy happy. And um, I'm talking on a Electro Voice 664. And guys, by the way, um, I don't know how many of you guys uh, uh, subscribe to the uh, Yahoo Veggie Sideband, uh, I don't know what it is, group. Anyway, Sammy, uh, you know, everybody's a good friend, Sammy, W5DPP. He's got a, a listing in there for... Uh, Collins gear. I mean everything. He's got receivers, uh, general coverage receivers, transmitters, transceivers, amplifiers. Uh, everything I ever heard of Collins is on there. So if anybody's needing anything Collins, he, uh, S line that is. Well, he's got R388 on there too, though. But uh, the 51J4, I think that's what it is. Anyway, he, I'm, I'm not familiar with all the numbers, but he's got a lot of stuff if anybody's looking for stuff. Uh, Sammy's probably listening anyway. And, and I hope Matt, W5M, uh, 
Jeez, I forgot. Uh, I'm not in. I'm sorry. W5MIX, Matt. I hope he's listening. And Matt, I hope you get a chance to say hello. Uh, you're certainly part of our group. Anyway, uh, guy, I'm taking too long. I know we got a lot of guys on. So uh, W5CMK and the group. This is W5EIJ. Back to net. All right, Delta. Well, one thing about taking too long, uh, you know, like that uh, John Deere tractor commercial says, if time is, is infinite, uh, why do we never have enough of it? But uh, right now, tonight, uh, time is on our side. We can take all the time we want to because this band sounds pretty dead gum good. You got a good signal, buddy. So does everybody, actually. Thank you kindly. All right. Uh, hey, Dave, GQF, what's going on on uh, the other side over there? Good morning. <clears throat> good morning, yeah. Well, I guess it's a morning someplace. Well, good evening, guys. This is Dave, W5, GQ up here in Round Rock. Uh, I kind of slipped on you tonight, boys. I'm talking on my uh, Flex 5000A. Uh, I've had some issues with the uh, glow-in-the-dark radios lately, and uh, they quit glowing and started burning real brightly and then stopped. So, a little lightning storm inside of them, but... Anyway, they're on the heel now. So, with that being said, that's about all I've got here. Uh, you know, loving the rain. We sure need it out here. Anyway, back to you guys, W5 GQFO. Alright, Dave. Well, we'll just scold you one time and we'll get on past you. But, yeah, when things start lighting up when they're not supposed to, kind of kind of makes things uh, not uh, a good situation there, over. We definitely had a little lightning storm and a uh, little thunder out of them, but hey, that's to be expected, you know? We'll fix it. Over. Roger, roger. Yeah, when I was a kid, I uh, was watching uh, black and white admiral tube uh, type television, and, and it was Saturday morning. I remember it real well. Uh, my, uh, I was watching the cartoons there and just having a good old time eating probably some sugar frosted flakes or some of that real nutritious good for you uh, breakfast cereal and the, the TV caught on fire. Man, my brother came in there and unplugged it and got it put out. We were without a TV for about a week and I thought the world was coming to an end. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the kind of things that you always remember and that smell when that thing caught on fire. Man, it was tough. All right, good deal, uh, Dave. Good to hear you. Enough about my... Uh, my memories of my youth. Anyway, KM5QS, AJ, uh, what's going on in Corpus Christi? Oh, well, Alice, I'm sorry. <laughs> in Corpus Christi, it's pretty cotton thick and wet, but um, KM5QS in Alice, Texas, uh, that's close enough, though, um, on the Kenwood Twins tonight, uh, 599Ds, and um, uh, it, it, uh, I think hopefully they're working pretty good. Uh, I know y'all are solid sounding good. The band's better than it's been for a while. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. Still uh, still cleaning on the mic connector on the Collins. Uh, I think that's probably all that was wrong with it was the, uh, the uh, plug just needed to be burnished up a little bit and like that. So um, I can't, uh, I'm, there, there's, I'm sure there's something else going on, but I can't for the life of me think what it is right now. All right, yeah, I corrected myself. By the time you keyed up, I realized I was uh, in the wrong section of South uh, Texas there, but uh, you will forgive me, I hope. Oh, yeah, yeah, not, not a problem. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am running the, the 599s through the Alpha this evening. Um, I'm making an attempt to keep a stranglehold on the <laughs> on the output. The ALC is not even moving on the transmitter. <laughs> But anyway, um, I don't know. This, this stuff's just too much fun to play with. Roger, Roger. Well, I'm not going to tell you, but you're a little bit down the band, so I wouldn't worry about it. But uh, all right, Jay, good deal. Uh, one more question. What about the bird? Oh, the bird's still alive and well, probably better off than we are. And I wasn't down the band any at all until uh, uh, until then, Reek. <laughs> Pretty centered with that other guy, and I wasn't about to mess with it because I figured I was close enough. Came five to it. Ah, it ain't no problem here. You're uh, very receivable. All right, I'm gonna grab one more, and then I'm gonna turn it down there to uh, uh, Jim. Let him get some uh, 
check in before the weather gets to him. Hey, Mike, uh, Moki, I'm okay. Come on in. Well, he, he said he had to go in the other room. I guess that's where he's at. All right, CXG Bob, one more time, and then we'll give it to Jim. Okay. That's K-5 CXG Bob out here in the San Angelo. We've had two inches of rain. We're going to get some more, which is good. And uh, we're on the 820. And got to get the 8:30 up here and figure out what's wrong with it. Maybe next week we'll have it on. These things keep, they work a week, break a week, and work a week. You know how it goes. But uh, we'll try to get that one going by next week. Other than that, that's it. Everybody have a good week. K560. All righty. Yeah, well, you know, that's what keeps the world turning is having to, to uh, look forward to doing something to uh, either a gun or a radio or a truck or something. You know, that's the way it goes. Yes, sir. Hi, right, good deal, Bob. Hey, uh, Jim. Uh, well, what's your dead gum call sign? <laughs> See? Z-I-V, I'll be all right. Uh, see there, you got me all frustrated. Y'all uh, got me wondering where I'm at. Uh, KB5-Z-I-V, W5-C-M-K. Take her away, Jim. All right, Mr. Guy. <laughs> he might need to go find you a beer. I think I will. All right. All right, folks, this is KB5-Z-I-V. You are listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. Tonight I'm on the FT-101E. I'm driving the Barker & Williamson PT-2500A. That goes through my big old tuner, which goes out there to the double extended set. And hopefully everything's working copacetically at the moment. Hey, Mr. Jim, W5SWM, what's going on, bro? Good evening, uh, Jim, uh, <laughs> and the Boat Acres uh, Net. We'll get on the right radio, and uh, maybe we can proceed here. But uh, W5SWM, down here in far Texas, far, far away, all that nonsense, talking on my uh, PR4, my happy-go-lucky Drake there that uh, just keeps on sticking with me while everything else is breaking down around here, but... Uh, at any rate, uh, we're just putting it all out there in a 80-40 uh, uh, magical dipole with uh, one coax, and we like it that way. A lot less maintenance, except for cutting the tree all the time. And that's about the size of it. Oh, we, everybody's talking about their lightning. Uh, well, we had one heck of a display uh, last night. Didn't get much rain, but well, I sure thought we was going to get some hail. Thank goodness we didn't. Not uh, up and down the valley, as far as I've heard. At any rate, W5, SWM, back to you there, Jim. All right, Jim, yeah, I don't went over there towards Bandera, Casterville, right in there. Which is a good thing. I didn't need any more. All right, hey, Mr. L, W5, SFN, what's going on? This is W5SFN. Not much, Jim. Just sitting there listening to everybody, talking on an old Swan 350 Driftmaster. Uh, I got to tune it around a little bit every once in a while. <laughs> I won't, of course, it didn't cost me anything, so I, I, I can't complain too, oh, I, too, too often. It was given to me along with another transceiver of some kind that I gave to somebody else, but it works pretty good. Everybody sounds good. I, don't, I haven't heard a bad signal yet, this W5SFN Weberly. All right, Al, you always sound good. We don't ever have any trouble hearing you. Well, I try to put out a good signal, but this old radio, it kind of likes to drift a little, Jim. Well, that's half the fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I used to be, I used to repair a lot of them. I, I spent a little over 20 in the Air Force. Most of that time was with, with, with radio uh, receivers and transmitters. And... Uh, I used to have a used to have a lot of old uh, hammer on SP600 to repair, 
And uh, they had Hammond Drifting, too. This W5SFN. Oh, yeah. Well, I think a lot of the old oscillator circuits just weren't regulated as well as they needed to be, and some of the components weren't all that great. Well, they had a they had a turret in them that turned uh, with the oscillator crane and the RF coil Jim, and that that's not the best thing in the world. This W five SFN. I do, I do. All right. Hey, Mr. Doug, W five IS. Hey, good evening, Jim, and all the net. W five IS. Oh, I'm um, uh, running this one uh, 700 CX, and uh, I'm uh, driving a uh, one more two amp. This thing moving around on me. I didn't even know long enough. But anyway, uh, <laughs> gotta be careful. I can't uh, get driving on the road. Uh, I think I'm already gonna get away from me. But uh, you're booming in here, Jim. Appreciate you running the net and uh, picking me up. So. Yeah, it is drifting up while I'm talking, so uh, let me get off here and listen. Uh, it'll settle down, I can listen in. W5 is. I ain't moving that much, Doug. But you are, you sounding plenty fine over here, got a good signal. Uh, thank you, Jim. Hi, right, hey, Mr. Gary, W5 BFA, what's going on over that way? Uh, I'm a GMTB for 5GIV, W5BFA. <clears throat> oh, not a whole lot. Uh, rain finally stopped. Supposed to get a little more tomorrow, but not much. So it's not too bad. Uh, everything's going right along. You know, our health's doing good and all that. Everybody's sounding good tonight, as usual. Uh, I'm running the old um, ASVFT101 EE to the SB200 amp up to the inverted V about, oh, 25 feet or so. Maybe it's that high, 20 to 25 feet in the air. And use an uh, amplified D104, which is uh, one I bought just before. I started quit blanking them, and uh, I bought it in a D10. Probably some of the last ones I sold. <laughs> and I really enjoy it. And everybody sounded good. Good to hear everybody tonight. KB5ZIV, W5BFA. Oh, Mr. Gary. Sounded good over this way. All right, let me see. Let me get Mr. Bill, and then I'll give this thing to uh, to Lynn there. WA5OPZ, uh, come on in here and tell me what's going on. KB5CIV, WA5OPZ, Mr. Bill, this is Hello, Jim, and hello, everybody in the net. Hello to my good buddy down there in Humboldt, old Gary. They, uh, tonight we're on the... Uh, on the KWM2 with the MM1 mobile microphone, uh, PM2 power supply, uh, 3001 linear, monitoring our power output with a uh, 312B4 to a G5 RV out in the backyard. Uh, I believe that tonight is the first time in, I don't know, several weeks that the noise level hadn't been uh, so bad. We're running about a 3 or 4 noise level tonight, normally about a 9. Anyway, hello to everybody, and uh, that's about what's going on up here right now. KB5ZIV, WA5OPZ. All right, Bill, got a good signal out of that one. Hi, Roger, appreciate that. Uh, this old rig has been, been pretty decent. I do, I do. All right, hey, Mr. Lynn, are you, uh, you ready? Well, looks like it. Am I sounding okay? Sounded okay here. All right. Well, good afternoon, gentlemen. This is K5LYN. My name is Lynn, and I'm in Austin. And this is a Central Electronics 20A from the year 1954. And I figured out how to make a Halocrafter's receiver in SX-115 be the VFO for this 20A. So I'm transceiving in the manner of the Collins twins, or the Collins S-Line, or the Drake twins, or the Halocrafter twins, or any of those other uh, rigs that you could transceive uh, when you connected transmitter and receiver together. That was done in the mid-50s. Uh, by most of the companies, but uh, nobody was doing it back in 54 uh, when this 20A was built. All right, 
Uh, let me see. I think we've got, uh, uh, we might have uh, WA5AAO. Daryl, are you still out there somewhere? K5LYN. Okay, five, 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 five. Yeah, you sound you sounding good. How you doing? We missed you. Okay, I'm going to to my mother. Yeah, I'm to my I'm going to to my I'm going to to my mother. I'm going to to my I'm going to I'm going to to my I'm going to to my mother. I'm going to to my I'm going to to my mother. i Darrell, well, when you can, sometimes I still make it over for the Bastrop lunch on Wednesdays, as I did today. So uh, let's cross paths whenever we can. Make the best of it, okay? Yeah, All right. All right. Let's see here. Uh, if my neighbor, KG5SV. Jim, you still hanging around over there somewhere? K5LYN. Yeah, I'm hanging around like any other respectable bat. Uh, just uh, uh, just messing around here in the in the shop. Uh, still, I'm working on that, uh, that boot on... Uh, Synthesized signal generator that's broke. Maybe, maybe when the parts come in, I'll get the thing fixed. Well, you know more than <laughs> you know more about it than I do. So it sounds like the right guy's working on it. Well, I don't know. That's the most complicated thing I've ever worked on. So we'll see what happens. Keep us posted. See you Saturday morning. You betcha. Take oh. it easy. All right. Very good. K five L Y N here. Let's move on. What about uh, Russ? K five H A T. Hey, Russ, you still up there somewhere? Oh, yeah, I'm here. All right, tell us how you've been. We missed you the last several weeks. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm doing okay. Uh, the only boat anchor, I guess, that I'm running is a SB200. Um, otherwise, I have a TS480 for a transceiver and a uh, center fed zip fed with 450 ohm line, uh, 80 meter. And uh, using a Dentron MT3000 MT tuner, and I'm using a <coughs> converted uh, MC50 with a HAL 5 cartridge. One thing I'm looking for, I wish I'd get somebody to trade with me. Uh, I'd like to trade my SB200 for a uh, good homebrew amplifier. Well, if they look you up on QRZ.com, will we find an email address? Uh, I can give you my email address. Well, there may be uh, people out there. It's it's a really a lot better if you can put that on QRZ.com, Russ, because, you know, we might have somebody way off out there that wouldn't hear it well. Okay. All right. Anything well, else for the net tonight? Good up here. I just got new cables made for my... Uh, 480. One of them had the little, whatchamacallit thing, um, you know, like your plugs into uh, the deal, like you plug in uh, to a wall and jack on the telephone. That had broken off, and that was always coming out of the radio, so I got a, a friend of mine to fix me up a cable for that, and also uh, a, a can line uh, to go from my... Uh, 480 to my SB200 amplifier, over. Well, it sounds like you got your hands full. Uh, uh, we know how that goes. Uh, make the best of it, okay? Yeah, and also, uh, he fixed me up a, a deal where I can use my uh, converted mic on my radio instead of the hand mic, so I'm in good shape. All right, well, good to hear you. Uh, let's uh, hear you more often. We always miss you when you're not around. All right. Okay. 
All right. Now, that's all the people I've got on the list unless Mike, M-O-K, came back. Hey, Mike, are you up there somewhere, K-5-L-Y-N? Yeah, Lynn, uh, uh, good evening to you and everybody on the net there. It's Mike, N-5-M-O-K. Uh, in Gilgore, Texas, uh, right across the town from old guy. But anyway, uh, t- tonight I'm on my old TS-520 uh, uh, MC-50 microphone. And... Uh, uh, it, it, it's wet. It ain't raining right now. They cause more rain, though. But anyway, uh, so I'll check in and out on this 0520. Uh, 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 back to you there, Lynn. Uh, N5, yeah, I'm okay. Those are great radios. Uh, they keep working. <laughs> they, those are almost as rugged as the swans, I guess. Uh, uh, nice signal, uh, Mike. Anything else for the group this evening? Uh, that's about it. Boy, you, you can't go wrong on one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll always enjoy it. I've had several of these and, and uh, uh, gotten rid of them, and, and uh, uh, I always decided I made a mistake and, and, and keep, uh, just buy me another. I want to hang on with this one. N5, I'm okay. Have a good one. I understand that. All right, let me uh, have two or three uh, check-ins, somebody out there that wants to talk to a 20A maybe, and uh, then we'll uh, pass this thing back around to Guy. Let me just call one guy. What if KL7CD, uh, Mike, are you around uh, this evening by any chance, K5LYN? K5LYN, KL7, Charlie Delta, on the Helicrafters Twins. I'd I'd like to, uh, I've got an AM rig here. I'd like to try that out and see if you copy that. Can I do that? Yeah, uh, you, you, like, can you throw a switch or two and put it on, or do we need to come back to you in a little bit? No, if, uh, give me about one second. I think I can try to come through. All right. Uh, zero be carefully, because I won't have any RIT over here. But, yeah, we want to report on your uh, your other projects there. To Mike, uh, Mike and I have been doing some email. He's got uh, a variety of interesting projects in the works. Okay, Mike, I'm listening for you. K5LYN. <laughs> even though I couldn't copy you, Mike. You're quite a bit up the band. Now, the problem about using a frequency counter is that we may or may not still be on 3870, you know. So it's a lot better if you can zero beat my frequency. Uh, there's quite a bit of hum there. It drifted down in frequency as you talked. Uh, I copied uh, quite a bit of it. Uh, I think you said it was Harvey Wells. Um, but there's a, uh, there's a really strong hum in there, and I'm not sure if that's coming from the amplifier or from the uh, transmitter. We'll get all that figured out. Um, uh, you may, I'm going to give it back to you for one more, uh, but I don't know if you've had a chance to try to zero beat the frequency or not. KL7CD from K5LYN. Comment. Uh, comment, go ahead. Yes, this is Jay, KM5QS. Um, I went over to my 950, and I switched down to AM. He does have a bit of a 60 cycle. I think he's aware of it. He made reference to it while he was talking. The audio sounded really nice, uh, for, you know, for the most part. It sounded pretty good. But um, the, the other issues, like you said, uh, it, it was hard to hit, get him on sideband. But when you, t- when you go to AM mode... Uh, it's working. It's working pretty well. If he can figure out what the hum is, then uh, he ought to be in really good shape. Um, and that's all the information I got for now. KM5QS. All right, Jay. Yeah, thank you for the report. Yeah, you could listen to him uh, uh, a lot better on a different radio, but uh, uh, he has it on the air. Mike, let's see. Are you back? Over to you, K5LYN. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back on the Helicrafters Twins. Okay, well, uh, I didn't want to mess with uh, trying to uh, get that get that uh, taken care of 
zero beating. I tried it with a frequency counter and obviously that didn't work, so I'll be better prepared next time. I'm not sure I'm loaded up here. Hello. Anyway, uh, yeah, the, the Gunset amplifier is really designed for single sideband and it doesn't have a center tap on the transformer. I'm going to put an artificial center tap in and try to take care of that hum. Um, I grabbed the wrong button on my HT44, so I may be off tuned here. Are you still copying? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Now, uh, was that a the Harvey Wells, was that the little mobile rig they built, or what, what transmitter was that? Yeah, Roger. They made about four different versions. I have the, the uh, Bandmaster Deluxe called a TBS-50D, and it has a preamplifier. It uses a, a crystal microphone instead of a carbon microphone. It has a single 807 in the final and uh, puts out about somewhere between 20 and 25 watts. So it'll only drive this amplifier up to about 100 watts a carrier. And uh, it seems to work just fine. The, uh, the hardest thing is, is getting zero beat. And of course, if you're on an AM frequency talking to AM stations, it's not as critical. But I had it warmed up tonight. I just wanted to see if I was getting through on it. And it sounds like I am. And the old SX-96 receives uh, sideband surprisingly well. Um, so I'll turn it back to you there, uh, Lynn, K5LYN, Net Control, KL7, Charlie Delta. Yeah, okay, Mike. Two more questions. Um, have you tried it without the amplifier so we know for sure that the hum is coming from the amplifier rather than the uh, transmitter? Roger, Roger. I, I have tried it without, uh, without the amplifier and there's no hum. Okay, all right, because I'm not familiar with that center tap issue uh, and hum, but uh, we can do some email about that. Okay, about the other, any progress on the other Halicrafters transmitter? Yeah, Roger. Um, I got it out of the cabinet, got it turned up on its side, the one that was uh, supposedly in working condition, and it works after a fashion, uh, puts out about 20 watts on 80 meters into a dummy load. And I got to looking at it. This, the power supply has been solid stated, but when I took the sideband module cover off, there are four capacitors in there that had not been recapped. So I'm working on that. And I tested all the tubes, and uh, the 6AU6, which is the 9 megacycle amplifier, uh, was very weak. And so when I get those capacitors changed out, the first thing I'm going to try to do is get this one working. Oh, the other thing they didn't do when they solid stated the power supply, they didn't adjust the low voltage uh, by using dropping. I use dropping resistors. I know you've done a choke input with a smaller capacitor, but uh, I use a dropping resistor, and the low voltage was up around 340, 345. Uh, the screen voltage on the finals was, uh, I think, 230, and it needs to be around 200. Anyway, I put a dropping resistor in and got that fixed. Uh, so I'm, st I'm still working on the new one so that I can go back to working on the old one. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sounded like some kind of poor work was done if he left the voltage that high. Uh, and I did find that voltage really needs to be what the, the manual says it needs to be for the correct uh, drive. All right. Okay, Mike, I guess we better move on, but uh, glad you came by. And uh, let's stay in touch on all those projects. Sounds like you got some uh, neat stuff going on. Back to you for one more, K5LYN. Comment. Go ahead, comment. Uh, hi, uh, uh, WA5EIJ. Uh, for both you guys, the uh, Lynn, the Central Electronics 100V has one side of the filament grounded, just like you would expect, So does, just like in your 20A. But in the 200V, uh, it has uh, neither side is grounded. It has a hum balance control, which is, uh, and it has an artificial ground, just like he was describing. They have, I think, I'm doing this from memory, but I think it's a 100 ohm rheostat. And that establishes the uh, center point, or, or more or less center ground, and it works. It's extremely effective. Anyway, uh, uh, Lynn, I'm going to go back to you. K5LYNWA5EIJ. Well, okay, that sounds like that substantiates what Mike was talking about. Good information, Joseph. All right, Mike, any last comments? No, go ahead. Uh, uh, thanks for letting me in, and I'll try to come in next week with a some kind of progress report. Maybe I'll have made some progress that's positive. 
Okay. All right. Uh, very interesting discussion we had there. All right. Well, I think I've had enough time here. I better give this thing to uh, Guy. And if there's any time for me left, I'll be on the Drakes when I come back. W5CMK, you got it, Guy. K5LYN. All right, Lynn. K5LYN, this is W5CMK. And uh, KL7CD, Mike, I got, I'm looking at two of those six AU6. Uh, they are uh, Jan tubes, and one of them dated 54, one of them dated 57, but I bet they're still all right here, just in case you need them. Okay, no, I've, I've got plenty of tubes. I got, uh, I, I, I went crazy at an auction, and I got tubes coming out my ears, but I sure appreciate the offer. All righty, good deal. Okay, let's see what we can do with the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. Anybody who would like to check in, come now with your call sign suffix, and we will get you in here. Uh, All right, I got you, Marty. Uh, KBP, there was another one in there that was a little high in frequency. You might uh, try to come to my uh, my frequency here and try it again. 5R. All right, got you, Rusty. Anybody else? This is still warm in the hot way. Hello, everybody, from W5OMR on AM. Uh, I got you, Jeff. You want to check in? Yeah, that was the whole point. Hello, guy. Uh, W5CMK and all y'all, W5OMR on the Johnson Viking 2 on AM. This is a huge kit VF1 VFO. And, Guy, if you've got spare 6AU6s, uh, 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 drop me an email. Email is good at QRZ. You'll have to decipher it. You'll see when you get there. But because this thing is drifty the way it is, I <laughs> for a certain, I can use at least one of those 6AU6s. Uh, that's it. Johnson Vacuum 2 Transmitter VF1 VFO from Heathkit uh, saddled up with it. Using the uh, Swan Mark II as an amplifier runner about 200 watts of carriers off. And I'll reduce the output on the Vacuum 2 and I hear it moving again. I'm using the uh, Plastic Radio TS690 as a receiver. Feeding it into a full wave loop here on 75 meters set with open wire line. Uh, W5CMK, before I go all the way out, W5OMR, Spin North. All right, Jeff. Yeah, I'll look, look you up on uh, QRZ, and we'll put one of these tubes in the mail to you. Uh, no problem whatsoever. I, I don't think I've got uh, anything that, that uses these. I, I don't think. But anyway, we'll get, get you one headed your way. And, and if it's good, it's good. If it ain't, oh, well, we'll do something different. All right, good deal, Jeff. Good to hear you. Hey, Marty, what's up? KBP. Uh, W5CMK, N5KBP. Uh, well, good evening, uh, uh, Guy in the Net. Uh, this is Marty, N5KBP, over in Longview. I'm on the old Yaesu, uh, FTD, excuse me, FT401B. As a matter of fact, it's not a Yaesu, it's a Yaesu Moosin. All one word stuck together. I just realized that looking at the, <laughs> looking at the faceplate. Uh, it's uh, one long word instead of just Yaesu. So it's got a few, got a few years on it. Um, barefoot uh, into my uh, skywire, uh, about 200 foot doublet. Uh, it's uh, just wet over here, probably about the same thing as over there in Kilgore. It's just wet, uh, but nice and cool. So that's it, uh, uh, WCMK N5 KBP. Roger on the wet, yeah. Well, yeah, Marty, you, you just just a little bit short of owing me a, a needle for this drake. Now, I'm only doing about 400 watts PET out of this thing, and that's a line meter. It's probably more like about 200. Yeah, well, you know, I can't get, I can't let you get by without giving you a gig there, over. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> this thing does have a little kick. It, uh, uh, when I'm tuning it up, its head keys about 300. So it'll, it'll push a little wattage you know, if I want to. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to hook it to this 2KD, or this 2 uh, Classic Export to uh, Henry and see what it'll do there. Oh. Well, we better be in a dummy load to do that. We might get illegal. Well, yeah, a dummy load for sure. That's right. 
All right, good deal. Anything else, Marty? Uh, no, that's the uh, good air cool dummy load. Garage, yeah, we could probably talk back and forth with dummy load where we are. All right, hey, Rusty, WK5R, I bet I could talk to you back and forth with a dummy load, too, there. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? Oh, there we go. Now she's cooking. <laughs> uh, uh, dummy load? <laughs> no comment on that. Uh, anyway, uh, this is WK5R. Good evening, everybody on the Bone Anchors Net. Uh, usual Drake station, TR4CW, the RV4C, the Audio Technica microphone. Uh, driving the Homebrew GS35B through the Homebrew uh, in, uh, uh, tuner to the Homebrew Dipo. That's what we got going on tonight, as usual. And, uh, Guy, uh, when we can get together, you can pick up your uh, uh, your uh, Tempo AC1 power supply. I am through with it. It's... Uh, I uh, got the I got the board done and uh, checked it all out and clipped on your transformer to provide uh, voltages and uh, uh, used your tokes in there and all the voltages are almost identical coming off that board is what they were uh, reading out of your supply so we're good to go on that so I got that done so. When we can get together, well, well, uh, I'll hand her back to you there. And I do appreciate it. And I've got to get uh, Lynn an email there. I'm thinking about Memorial Day weekend, but that may be a bad weekend for him. I don't know. I'll get the email to him and find out. Back to you, guy. Uh, WK5R in the boat anchors. Okay, Rusty. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'll be going into uh, the Metroplex next week. Maybe on Monday afternoon or or Tuesday morning. But anyway, we'll figure it out. It, it's not a big deal. I got a couple more of those power supplies sitting around here. So if I ever get around, I've been threatening to do it. I just uh, have not seemed to be able to get off my uh, my duff to get her done. Put uh, one of the tempos back on the air. But I need do need to do that. All right, good deal, Rusty. Yeah, you want to put in a plug for your uh, your product that you're selling there for the boat anchor stuff. I'll throw it out there. If you need uh, uh, replacement boards for your boat anchor power supplies there, I have uh, ones in stock for uh, the Swan. The, that's the uh, 117XC. Or uh, the 117X. That's the same supply, whether it's in the cabinet or not. I have the boards in stock for those. I have the boards in stock for the Drake AC3. I also uh, have one bo one board in stock for the Tempo 1, AC1, and I have uh, a capacitor board in stock for the SB220 and a metering circuit board in stock for the SB220. Uh, you can look on my website at WK5R at uh, WK5R.org, and there's a little flashing sign there. If you click on that, that will take you right to the uh, online store. If you want to look at it there. And my phone number and email address and everything is right there. To the, uh, will be at the bottom of the page there uh, if you need to contact me. That's it, guy. Back to you. WK5R. All right, good deal, Rusty. Yeah, one of these days I told you last week uh, we'll be uh, we'll be happy that we know you with all that knowledge of uh, power supply boards and all that stuff. Okay, uh, my name is Guy Golf Uniform Yankee. My call sign is Whiskey Five Charlie Mike Kilo, and uh, you're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you would like to check in, come now with your call sign suffix, and we will get you in here. Whiskey, Oscar Zuri. Sierra Lima. All right, I got, uh, got you, Dan. Who was the other one? SL. Is that Sierra Lima? That's a Roger. All right. Hey, Dan, uh, K-A-W-O-Z, and don't come in here with popcorn breath either. No, in fact, I think my wife's making some in there. Good evening, guy. This is K8WOZ. The name is Dan. We're in Houston. Talk about the same old junk. Helicrafter HD37. Uh, receiving with a Kenwood R599. 
and uh, driving a homebrew pair of 813s to an inverted V about 35 feet in the air. I do have a couple of hybrid radios if somebody's looking for something that uh, is good and reliable they can put on the boat anchors or just talk on them in general. They're pretty stable, reliable, probably one of the most reliable radios ever made. They're, I've got a Kenwood TS520 SE. Uh, it's got the handle, it's got the little side door that's usually missing. It works fine, 160 through 10 meters. Good audio. Uh, even include a desk mic with that for $195. I've got a Kenwood TS520S also. 160 through 10 meters, same kind of condition. Does have the side door and the handle and all that. And that one happens to also have the narrow CW filter in it. Sell that one for $195 too. Um, that's about it. I got a DG5 that could go with either one of those, but uh, I'd need some extra money and uh, I won't sell that DG5 separate by itself. But if somebody wants one of those and they want a DG5, digital readout with it. I got that also. Anyway, again, the name is Dan. Uh, the call is K8WOZ. It's good on the QRZ database for email. Or you can reach me on my cell phone. That number is 281-974-8171. 281-974-8171. Thank you, guy. Man, everybody's good, but I got noise on here tonight for some reason. To be a five CMK K W O Z. All right, Dan. Yep. Uh, anybody need a feel on any of Dan's stuff? Uh, I can uh, repeat most of it off. If you don't, I'm sure you probably heard him because I think uh, folks in China probably heard him with the signal he's got up here. Anybody need a feel? Thank you, guys. All right. Good deal. Uh, good deal, Dan. Good to hear you. Sierra Lima, come on in here. Well, good evening, Dan, uh, Guy. I don't know whether you're uh, able to copy this little uh, swan or not. We've, we've got an experimental D-104 on it tonight. With a, uh, we gutted it out and put a little processing board in it. Uh, I'm not sure whether the mic gain's too high, too low, or what it might be, or whether we're even making the trip. Uh, uh, we need a little report there, and maybe you can help me out with it. We're on the <clears throat> swan 270 with the D-104 fed into a... Um, Full wave delta loop, uh, about 35 to 40 feet up. Uh, go ahead. Well, first of all, back you might gain down about 50% from where it is right now. Let's try it again. That's not a problem. That's the reason I was uh, hoping to get a report there. Go ahead. Uh, how's that? All right. Let's uh, turn that D-104 upside down. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, I'll have to pull the plate off of it. I'll back the mic gain off for a little bit uh, here, and uh, we'll uh, pull the plate off there and maybe catch you after the net or something. All right, well, that's quite a bit better right there. I, I can uh, get a whole lot better uh, audio out of that. Well, I appreciate the report. Uh, we backed it off a little more. It's not uh, showing to be driving it, uh, the uh, radio hardly at all. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll get out of the way and let you have at it with some other folks. Uh, WA5SL, uh, appreciate it, and uh, we'll turn it back to you, guy. Okay, uh, give me your name. I forgot. Got a handle here, Scott. Okay, Scott. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can probably... Just barely crack that D-104 open and then bring your mic gain up just a little bit and it'll probably be pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, that, uh, it's just, just a lot of it there. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, see, we took the uh, we took the amplifier out of the microphone. It's just a little processing board, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll turn, turn it over and see what we can do with it. All right, well, that sounds pretty, pretty much better right there, too. So, All right, Scott, good deal. Uh, come on back here, uh, a little bit. Just uh, come on back if the net's still going on. It doesn't matter. We'll we'll get you in here. All right. Uh, my name's Guy. My call sign is Whiskey Five. Charlie Mike Kilo. See, I can remember that one sometimes. Uh, if anybody would like to uh, check in with the Boat Anchors Unlimited, come now with your call sign suffix. It's K Five H A T with a comment. Edward David X Ray. All right, I got H-A-T with a comment and E-D-X. Go ahead, H-H-E.
think that was it. Russ, H-A-T. Oh, okay, H-A-T. Uh, if that was you, Russ, go ahead. Well, uh, yeah, I've checked. Yeah, that was me. Uh, I ran a 28 for a, a number of years. <clears throat> I bought one in 1959 when I first got on sideband, and I had two problems with mine <laughs> ever so often. Of course, I used the Central Electronics, uh, well, the ARC-5 uh, 458 BFO with it, but the trouble I had with my 28 was the uh, 1 in 34 um, <coughs> balance modular, uh, modular diodes would go out, and also those uh, little round transformers I'd have to have uh, replaced every once in a while. Okie dokie, good information. Alright, anything else, Russ? No, that's it. EDX. Let's see, I think I know who that is. Come on in here. Yeah, guy. Uh, good evening. W5CMK in the net. Whiskey Alpha 5, Edward David X-Ray. Byron in beautiful Bluffdale, Texas. Tonight we're running the uh, uh, same old uh, Kenwood 530S. D104 mic inverted trap dipole up about 35 feet. Get a little bit of noise on the band tonight. Uh, some more rain headed our way, I guess. But uh, not too bad. Copying everybody fine. Uh, hope everybody's had a, had a good week. Uh, that's all I know for sure. Put me down for the count, guys. Uh, thanks for running the net. W5EDX. Got you in there, Byron. Yep, sounding good on the Kenwood. Uh, just always right there where you need to be. Okie dokie, anybody else for the boat anchors, come now with your call sign suffix and we will get you in here. W5NTQ, W5 Norway, Tokyo, Quebec. Norway, Tokyo, Quebec, go ahead. Name here is Paul, Bel Air, Texas. Y'all coming in real good tonight here, over. Roger on the Bel Air, Texas. Uh, what, you, uh, what you running there tonight? I'm, I'm running a Micom 3R yeah, SG500 amplifier into a 43-foot barcode, and it's being tuned by Harris RF382A uh, coupler with uh, a new design controller. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, you're you're talking great to me because I I don't know what you said. Well, I got a bunch of boat anchors too. So, but this this is my modern radio. I just wanted to start uh, working on this uh, this design. Yeah, you know, just testing the radio out and everything. But uh, I, I normally use the KWM 380 and a uh, um, you know every, everything from 46 uh, to about uh, 80. Uh, I've got here up in the in the room over the garage. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, I hope you got good uh, joist in the floor there. Over. Roger on that. When I had the house design, I told the architect to build a uh, room over the garage like it was going to hold two cars. Over. There you go. <laughs> Good planning. All right. Well, carry on, and I enjoy listening to the net very much. Over. Well, thanks for being there, Paul. And uh, get one of those, uh, those boat anchors warmed up and come on in here with us. I sure will. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's what I'm working on now is to get the uh, boat anchors to work with the setup. Uh, how's the audio and signal sound? Over. Oh, audio is good and crisp and clear. Uh, got plenty of signal, uh, 20 to, to 25 over on my Drake uh, needle arrow. Okay, well, I'm a happy camper. Good evening. Thank you very much. W5NTQ, be clear. Okay, Paul, good deal. Hey, uh, Lynn, you want to give this a whirl or is it Jim's turn? I don't remember. Well, we had Jim go second uh, last time, so throw it his way. All right. Uh, KB5ZIV, W5CMK. Crank her up there, buddy. All right, brother. All right, folks, this is KB5ZIV. You're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you'd like to check in with us this evening, if you'll come with your call sign slowly, spread them out for me, guys. I'll try and get you in here.
I guess uh, if you'd like to check in with the Boat Anchors Unlimited net this evening, come with your call sign slowly, please. WA5FL. Yeah, hello, Scott. Okay, we uh, pulled the bottom off that microphone and uh, found a little pot there. We could back down a little bit. Is it uh, still uh, too hot? That's not. It's not overly objectionable, but it might still be a hair warm, Scott. back it down a little bit more, but uh, any more and it doesn't uh, doesn't seem want to drive it right, so uh, we'll play with it a little bit more there. Uh, y'all carry on and appreciate you letting me jump back in there again. All right, not a problem. It's, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, just got to figure out, I guess, how to, to uh, slow that little processor board down. Roger, roger. Thank you again. All right, not a problem, Scott. It, it's got the usual good quality that radio's had for all the time I've been listening to it. Okay, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, just comment uh, real quick. He sounds 100% better than he did a while ago. He's just about got it nailed. Uh, like you say, if you could tone that processor board down just a hair more, boy, it'd be beautiful. We'll work on it, see what we can do here in a little while. Uh, y'all carry on, we'll maybe catch y'all after the net. All right, Scott. Okay, anyone else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net this evening? Bravo, Zulu. Yeah, BZ, come on in here. Yeah, KG5BZ, Ron, down here on Mustang Island, uh, South Texas. Yeah, Ron, what's going on, bro? Not a lot. Uh, Swan 700CX and um, uh, Swan Mark II Amp and uh, an Alpha Delta DXCC Apex at about uh, 45 foot. I was doing the job, brother. Roger, Roger. Thank you. Sounded good from down that way. What was that? I said you're sounding good from down that way. Okay, well, kind of, kind of take uh, pride in my all my old Swan gear. Been, uh, been through it all, uh, all by myself. How'd you, how'd you? Well, you got it working. Okay, well, uh, that's it from my end. I know I'm kind of late. Uh, tried to get in here earlier, but uh, couldn't. Uh, back to net, KG5BZ. I did, I did. Not a problem. We'll all, we'll get you in here one way or the other. All right, anyone else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net this evening? Come with your call sign, please. Well, Lynn, we might have wore them out. Well, we've had a lot of interesting discussions tonight. Uh, really quite fascinating and a lot of things we want to follow up on. Um, let me throw out a comment here and see if anybody else wants to talk about anything. I'm on my drakes tonight. We're about to wind down the Boat Anchors Unlimited net after a fascinating hour here, really. Anybody want to check in? K5LYN, listen. Uh, BZ, recheck? Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, Ron. Yeah, any other, uh, Drake folks out there y'all know about? Uh, I'm looking for an R4, uh, Bravo receiver in good shape. Well, I'm listening to you on an R4 <laughs> Bravo in good shape, and I wouldn't let it go because it's such a great receiver. Anybody out there have an R4B they want to let, uh, let go? Well, I'm on a Drake, but I ain't got no R4. Well... Good luck, Ron. Uh, I, I had an R4B forever for 20 years, and I finally found the transmitter to go with it, and uh, it's a great pair. Roger, Roger. Got got the transmitter and cables to go with it. Uh, just just looking for a decent receiver for uh, uh, to put the pair together. Yeah. Well, you'll like it when you get it done. Uh, just keep uh, throwing the wand out there, and sooner or later somebody will come up with one. 
Roger, Roger. We'll look into the Drake net. I know there's some uh, New Jersey and, and Florida boys out there that uh, collect the Drakes, and uh, I guess we'll look into those nets. All right, thank you, kg 5 Be good. Yeah, Sunday afternoons starting at 1 o'clock, 14292.5 is vintage sideband for at least three hours. That's another place you can do. Uh, 14292.5. Starting at 1 o'clock. All right. Anybody want to talk to me before we wind it down? K5LYN. Sounds like it's time to go uh, program the uh, uh, DVD recorders here. Uh, Guy, I'll give it to you to wind it down, and you can give it back to Jim, and we'll call it a night. K5LYN. All right, Lynn. Yeah, it's been a, an interesting hour for sure. Uh, lots of uh, different stuff going on and lots of... Uh, uh, new things to make wrinkles in your old brain with. Uh, anybody else want to check in with the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Uh, come now and I will get you in here. One more time for the Boat Anchors. Well, let me say 73 to everybody. Enjoyed it. Uh, may not be here next week. My, uh, my boss is coming in from uh, Arkansas and... Uh, Seems like he might want me to actually uh, uh, put on some kind of show or something next week and, and, and earn my keep. So anyway, if we're here, we'll be here. If we're not, uh, y'all, uh, I'm sure you will carry on in uh, fine style. So uh, 73 to everybody. KB5ZIV, W5CMK. All right, guys. If he wants a ham radio demonstration, we'll be down here in South Texas still listening. <laughs> He probably wants his damn dog and pony show is what I got a feeling. Enjoy the night, y'all. N5, I'm okay. All right. All right, have we missed anyone for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net this evening? All right, folks. Thank you all for coming by and checking in with us. We, uh, we all, you know, understand what it takes to keep these things up, uh, get them up and running, et cetera. And, uh, guys, we appreciate it, because without y'all, we surely can't do this. Anyway, y'all have a good week. Hopefully we'll see everybody next Wednesday. 73 is all the way around. We'll return this frequency back to normal amateur use. All right. Thank you much for y'all being here. All right. KB5ZIV. Ron, that's the best signal you've put over here in a long time, KM5 QS. Um, okay, uh, contact, uh, QS? Yeah, Kilo Mike 5, Quebec Sierra, Jay over here in Alice. Hello, Jay. Uh, I, 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 I did get to see, uh, fortunately, y'all uh, burnt that hardwood I dropped over off in the pile. I think there was a, a stick of hickory and uh, some pecan and a bunch of mesquite. But uh, I'm glad to see that it all got burnt up. Oh, yeah. Well, what didn't get burnt up got carried away and saved for later. But uh, we always appreciate it. Hi, Rod. Roger, uh, Roger. That swan's kicking it. Uh, <laughs> And if I remember, didn't I buy a 2060 from you a couple of three or four buildings ago? 2060? Oh, uh, well, what was that? You may have, uh, what was the piece of equipment over? A Heath kit tuner, uh, antenna tuner, 2060. Negative. Never owned one. Never owned one. Always wanted one, but never had one. Was not from me, Jay. Okay. Um... Okay, I got you confused with somebody on that deal anyway, but that's not surprising. It's been a day or two. Hey, Ron. Yeah, that sounded like George. Says I, George of North.